welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new welcome i'm nina the simple kenyan girl um in here we talk about pregnancy <laughs> we talk about babies we talk about siblings we talk about um the other ends which is makeup we do lots of makeup practices here um traveling which as of the moment is on hold and um a lot of exploring to the other side of research on our health and workouts and all that good stuff to keep this body healthy okay so if you have any questions about any of that please um send them to my email or just dm me and i will sure do a video about it if you need to feature me on anything just email me and we will we'll get that doing okay uh yeah so today if you're in this video i'm sure you want to know every little detail and trust me i understand because as a first time mom or a second time mom you don't know what to expect and you just want to be safe whatever the cost you just want to be safe safety first and good health yeah so let's get right into it first things first um if you're pregnant and you feel any of these signs i hope you have um doctor to call or a midwife or an obgyn any of that just hope you have any of the phone numbers to just call and check in and ask if everything is okay if whatever you're feeling and then if it's too much maybe check in and then they can help you from there okay so first things first um it's severe abdominal pain uh if you're experiencing this and maybe it's your first trimester or your second trimester or your third trimester and you've not gotten to that 37th week mark definitely call your doctor and tell them how you're feeling if it's too much and you can't handle it check in in a hospital and just to be safe yeah um another th another danger sign is vaginal bleeding if you're experiencing this you don't even need to stay without contacting your doctor you just see that tissue is not okay you just run you just rush to the hospital because this can be an early sign that maybe the baby is already ready to come out and if they're not well cooked yet they definitely need extra care yeah the oxygen and all that good stuff to keep them healthy and strong okay um another danger sign is severe headache uh this can be caused by not sleeping lack of sleep especially on your third trimester but if it's too much and and you can't handle it please just get medical attention because it can be another sign that baby is not okay and that's just how the body communicates um another thing is fever as of the moment we are on a covid kind of situation when your fever shoots um it's it's just covid but no uh fever can be another sign that your body is telling you something is definitely not okay with the baby and this needs to be checked yeah so if doctors don't know that you're pregnant just tell them i'm pregnant and my fever just tripped and uh need to seek medical attention on what's going on yeah might experience a lot of blood um withdrawal and all that stuff but they definitely are gonna help you and that's what safety calls for if that's what safety calls for go for it okay um another thing is reduced movements of the baby in the belly uh so let's say you know the baby is really really active and then just one day he or she is just super 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 calm not feeling anything uh for 24 hours and there's just this um what's it called um there's this you are told like your baby should move maybe twice or thrice after maybe three hours or two hours and um, if the baby hasn't moved in let's say 24 hours definitely need to check in to see if the baby is okay if he or she is fine 
and another trick if the baby hasn't moved for a long time um this is something that i have been doing with my babies i drink a sugary drink let's say ribena or lucozid and then i just sleep on my left side and then that baby will kick he will kick and your <laughs> he will kick until even your head starts aching like energy comes out that much just as when you're having a bad day or just when you're having a really 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 tiresome day and your body just needs a boost of energy because you're super super tired that boost of energy definitely go for it um another thing is convulsion um and this can be definitely checked in if you're the partner or something and uh, yeah convulsions is 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 definitely something just go check in check in and ask all the questions that you have that's something that i've realized most of the doctors nurses or midwives they don't give you information until you ask for it yeah and this is so important if you have any questions of course pregnancy brain is happening and you might forget some of the things but this is the thing just if you have any question just write it down maybe on your fo- on your on your phone somewhere just write it down maybe on a message just write it down and then when you go for your clinic after they check the baby and all that stuff unfold your questions start they ask you ask they answer if you don't understand ask what does that mean or what does this and that say about that okay yeah don't take no for an answer and definitely go for what you're asking for if you've done your research don't follow research too much but if you've done your research and you have questions about it when you're going to your clinic days go ask the hard questions ask um i'm feeling like this and this and that and i read when you feel like this and that it can be this and this and that is that true and then if it's actually something serious that they don't know uh you might be sending for some blood blood work they check your blood they check your blood to see if anything is there's something wrong or not and that's the beauty of nature like <laughs> some of these questions they will definitely answer and you'll feel satisfied with the answers that they give you and when they don't you this is the beauty of things you have a gyna that you can ask if the nurse is not giving you the all the answers that you need you have a nurse you can ask if the nurse is not if the gyna is not doing that you have a doctor that you can talk to okay yeah so this is all about the right for information but you definitely have to ask for it you have to ask for this information that you're seeking and the knowledge about it beautiful okay yeah so something else that you should be really r- not not like you should not you should definitely be concerned about uh is when the breaking of the water happens oh boy just go in just check in because that's a definitely admission <laughs> and they're gonna check um if the amniotic fluid is enough for the baby and if it's not or if the cervix has opened what next like the next steps to it um getting tired easily this happens especially on your third trimester but um there's another there's a kind of way that you're too tired that really really needs medical attention um another thing is swelling of face definitely you swell on your legs at some point in your pregnancy because the pressure the pressure down there and the storing of water in the body just preparing for labor but swelling of the face and hands and having loss of breath that's something you should definitely check in with your doctor or your midwife um so be prepared to always seek skilled care in case any of these danger signs i hope you've learned something new um and i hope this video will definitely give you that morale to <laughs> work on your pregnancy like just be informed and be knowledge enough so that you don't get misled because when you get 
different information from different people it's so easy to be misled and yeah definitely don't want that so definitely definitely ask any questions that you have to your midwife to your doctor to your gyna to anyone that's helping you who you're sure is skilled and you trust this is where i come in when you're pregnant your intuition or your gut will never lie to you if you can't click with someone <laughs> just know that someone will not like help you because your body isn't agreeing with so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope you learned something new and if you have please give this video a like and i'll see you on the next video yeah stay safe enjoy your holidays and yeah i'll see you on the next video